YouTube, what's going on y'all? It's your boy KBZ. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys three things you should never do in FL Studio. But yeah, I've just been scrolling through YouTube and I've been seeing some videos and I've just been thinking, I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna tell people what not to do on FL Studio. Even though I love FL Studio, there are some certain things you really just should not do on it just because there's better stuff out there or it just doesn't sound good or for various reasons. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna tell you a few things you should never do in FL Studio. If you wanna head over to my Instagram, give me a follow on there. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter are all at KBZTheGod, so go give me a follow on those if you wanna stay up to date with me. But yeah, um, let's get into the video. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what not to do. All right, so the first thing you should absolutely never do on FL Studio is record vocals. I've been seeing like some videos on YouTube of people recording in FL, or I've seen some like upcoming rappers recording in FL. Like, bro, believe me, you do not wanna record in FL. It is literally a pain. If you've used Pro Tools, you'll know, you know what I mean. It's way easier to record vocals, but like if you're recording vocals in here by clicking the little arm disc recording, and then you gotta send it over to the send track so the effects don't get recorded into the audio. It's literally just a hassle, bruh. And it's also a hassle to like move it around and like nudge it to get it right in time. And there's also latency issues depending on the driver you use. I would never record on FL. I know not everybody can afford Pro Tools or whatever, but trust me, there's ways of getting things to record if you absolutely need them. And FL, if you can help it, you should not be recording on FL because your vocals just won't come out sounding crispy. They won't come out sounding as good as you want them to. Um, and even if you're just using like stock plugins too, like you don't want to be using Fruity Reverb and like Fruity Delay on your vocals really. You want to use better stuff and better EQs. You don't really want to just be EQ and parametric EQ and stuff. Like if you have the Waves bundle, you can make it work, but then it fucks up. If you're recording an artist, it's just, you're going to fuck them up a lot. Pretty much just never record vocals in FL. It is not a good idea. But yeah, um, second thing you should never do is never, ever, 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 ever make a beat with Fruity Limiter on. See, I literally have it disabled. That's how bad Fruity Limiter is. I don't even have the shit like in my thing anymore. I took it out. Never ma ever make a beat with Fruity Limiter. I'll, hold on, I'll pull up an example right quick. I'm gonna make a quick little drum pattern. Um, I saw I got my headphones on. I'm gonna be making a quick little like drum pattern. Um, and in theory, um, it should sound good, right? I'm gonna turn off the self clipper, just have this. Um, so as you can see right now, the drums are running through the uh, they're running through the, the limiter. You can see I'm peaking. By the way, if you want the drum kit, I'm using Trap Galaxy Volume 2, link in the description. And also, you want this 808 kit all the 808s it's the best 808 kit you can get um so check that out as well but so pretty much in the purple that's all the like past this threshold is all too loud so that is the envelope of what is being like removed from the sound so like i'll show you like you can obviously tell that's limited if you have a trained ear like when the 808 and kick hit is ducking so bad because the 808 and kick are clipping and going over this limiter. Like all that purple is all being reduced. So that's the actual sound that's coming out of it. Um, so like, let's turn that off and put on the soft clipper. right here like right here you can hear the hi-hats get louder because there's no 808 like, and then when the 808 hits it's ducking so everything's getting quieter so yeah pretty much never use fruity limiter um a lot of people start off in fl using fruity limiter trust me you do not want that shit you want fruity soft clipper and then you just want drum kits that bang like mine so if you want them link is in the description how to hit y'all with the shameless plug but yeah all right, another thing you should never do in FL Studio. I see a lot of people side chain their kicks to their 808s, so I really don't even know how to do it anymore, but it's like, you take, you take them both and then you like, you fucking route them both to the limiter and then you like side chain it or you use Maximus or something. Regardless, you don't wanna side chain your 808 because pretty much what side chaining is, is so pretty much to like a classically trained producer, you side chaining would be a good thing because when you're kicking 808 hit, we'll look at the EQs on both of them. Oh, let me pull up parametric EQs. I'm gonna explain this to you guys. All right, so this right, this EQ right here is for the 808. That's for the kick. Okay, so watch when they both hit. This is a kick. That's 808. 
they're both in the low end frequency. Like they're both hitting in like sort of the same range. Uh, so pretty much what a side chain does, when the kick and the 808 both hit, the 808 ducks down. Bro, I got the hiccups, this is crazy. Yeah, so basically every time the kick and 808 hit at the same time, the 808 would duck down real quick. So it pretty much would be like, I'm gonna do it manually because I don't even remember how to do it because I've never done it. That's how bad it is. I don't even know how to side chain because I, I would never do it. So how would I know? You know what I mean? So it's like, like really quickly, it's like, you know what I mean? So right as the kicks would hit, the 808 would come down in volume and then come back up. And in theory, that's a good thing because then your kick and 808 can hit. But in reality, uh, for somebody that makes trap beats and has been making beats for three years, you don't want to be, you don't want to do that because it can just, it, it'll take the life out of the 808 and the kick. Um, like just a lot of beats, your favorite rappers have been rapping on. The reason they hit so hard is because there's, there's not side chaining and side chaining sort of takes the away from how hard of the beat is. So don't get me wrong, you can use you can use side chaining for pop music and stuff if you're using like the four on the floor pattern or stuff stuff like that. Like if you're going for the side chain sound with melodies, do it. But for the kick in 808, I really don't think it's a good idea because I don't think it accomplishes much personally. And I also think that if you just look for a better kick in 808 uh, combo, like that fit well together, um, then I think that's a good solution as well. And it doesn't take away that little extra oomph, you know what I mean? Um, so like, let's say this kick and 808 wasn't working well together, and but I want to use this 808, maybe I try different kicks, maybe I want this kick, but I don't like the 808, I could just try a bunch of eight, different 808s, you know what I mean, until it hits, because I think that's a way better solution than side chaining, and I've seen a lot of people side chain and wonder why their beats aren't hitting like they should, and it's usually because of that. But yeah, those are some main things. Um, I thought of like some three things that you should never do in FL Studio. Cause yeah, I've seen a lot of people um, do those things and those are always some things I've thought you should never do. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys my opinion on it. Maybe if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below. Um, but either way, if you enjoyed this video, you thought it was entertaining, um, make sure to subscribe and stick around. Also, if you want any of my drum kits, if you want some 808s, cop this kit. If you want drums or loops, um, links in the description to all my drum kits. So go check those out. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope this video helped you guys. And I hope you stay fired up. And I'm out. It's LABs, baby. Peace. AK Beezer, you fired up.